Hello, today we're in the Learn to Code chapter Algorithms and we're working on the fourth activity called Which Way to Turn. So in the Which Way to Turn um, activity, you're supposed to write your own algorithm to solve this maze. And this maze, we're not going to be using the right-hand rule that we were, uh, the right-hand rule algorithm that we were using in the last couple of uh, activities. We're going to write a, a new algorithm here. So let's take a look at the puzzle and see if we can uh, find any patterns here that'll help us uh, get to the end. Uh, first of all, what is the end? What's the end of this puzzle? It looks like it's probably this tile up here with this gem on it. So there are six uh, switches that are off and we need to turn on, and there's one gem uh, that's presumably here at the end. So after we toggle all these switches on, the last thing we'll do is collect this gem. So we're probably going to want to do something over and over and over again until we get to the uh, gem. So let's go ahead and at least write a comment here to describe uh, our, what we what we want to do here. So do something again and again until we reach the gem and then at the end we'll collect the gem. So notice I'm writing these uh, instructions to myself in comments and later on we'll go back and we'll change these comments into code. Okay. So now, what does it mean to do something over and over again? Or what do we want to do over and over again? Well, it looks like uh, somehow we're going to need to be toggling these switches on. There's a switch right in front of us that we need to turn on. And then there's another one. If you turn to the right over here, there's another switch. And then if we turn to the left, there's one up here, and so on. So we're going to be moving along. Uh, walking along, toggling switches until we get to the gem, it looks like. So that is going to be the thing we're going to want to do over and over again is walk along, toggle, walk along toggling switches. So maybe that would be in a function. Uh, we could maybe abstract that idea away here. And so let's say create a function where we walk along and toggle switches okay then we can change this do something to say uh, in here walk along toggling switches again and again until we reach the gem and then when we do we collect the gem okay so this idea where we're uh, creating um, some instructions to ourselves here and then we're slowly adding more and more detail uh, it's just like creating an outline when you're writing a story or a paper and you add more and more detail until you get your algorithm complete and then turn it into code okay so uh, let's talk a little bit more about maybe add some detail to this top instruction here create a function where we walk along and toggle switches so it looks like if we move forward, we just keep moving forward uh, until we get to a switch, then we toggle it, okay? So I'll write down these instructions here. Even though these aren't going to be maybe the final ones, we can just get some instructions going. Uh, walk forward until we reach a closed switch. When we reach the closed switch, we want to toggle it. Toggle the switch, and then we want to turn. Okay. In some cases, we want to turn right, like this first uh, switch here, but then the next switch we want to turn left, and then the next one up here we want to turn left, the next one up here we want to turn right. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to need a a smarter way to decide which way we turn because sometimes it seems we want to turn right and sometimes it seems we want to turn left. 
So can you see a pattern in this on when we want to uh, turn to the right and what are the conditions when we want to turn left? Well, let's go through all the switches and, and we'll just sort of take note of which way we want to turn on them. This first one, we want to turn right. This next one, we're going to want to turn left. This one, we're going to want to turn left. This one up here on this platform, we want to turn right. This one down here, we're going to turn left. This one down here, we're going to want to turn left. So most of them we want to turn left, and some of them we want to turn right. In fact, the only ones we want to turn right are this one and this one. All the rest we want to turn left. So, uh, well, one thing in common that the right ones, the ones we want to turn right, have, one, one thing they have in common is that they're up on this platform up here. And the ones where we want to turn right, uh, sorry, the ones we want to turn left generally seem lower, but I don't think that's the whole story. Uh, can you find a, uh, an indicator that will tell us when we want to turn left and when we want to turn right? Okay, if you haven't noticed it now, let's look at all the ones where we want to turn left. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. In each of those cases, we're blocked to the front. When we're sitting on these switches, there's always a wall in front of us or a cliff in front of us. So those cases we want to turn to the left. But in these cases, here and here, there's always an open tile in front of us so that we, uh, that will maybe indicate to us that we want to turn to the right. Okay? So that'll be part of this, uh, this, this function in here where we say toggle the switch and then turn left or right. Well, we can say turn left if we are blocked. Turn right if not blocked. Okay, so these first few uh, instructions up here belong to this function where we want to walk along and toggle switches. So walk along toggling switches just means keep walking forward until we reach a closed switch. When we reach a closed switch we want to toggle the switch, then we want to turn left if we're blocked, turn right if we're not blocked. And that whole set of steps we want to just keep doing over and over and over again, which we're calling the abstract idea, walk along toggling switches. We want to do that over and over and over again until we reach the gem. Okay. Okay, so let's start. This seems like a good plan. Let's start changing this into some code here. So this part, walk along toggling switches again and again until we reach the gem, we can change into a while loop right? Because that will keep happening over and over until some condition is true. So we'll say while we're not on a gem, while is on a gem, while not is on a gem is true, we want to walk along toggling switches. Okay, then when we are on a gem, we're going to be done with this while loop. Because the only way we can get down to here, to after the while loop, is if we are on a gem. And if we are on a gem, let's just go ahead and collect it, because we know we're at the end. Okay, now this function, walk along toggling switches, I'm going to copy that, because that function we want to create up here, right here. So some func, paste, walk along toggling switches, is going to be what we're going to build, and we have the outline for that already written right here. Okay, okay, so I can get rid of this comment because this is going to be our function walk along toggling switches. Now I'm going to slowly add these instructions one by one. So this says walk forward until we reach a closed switch. So that's what we're going to do at first here. So that's just simply a move forward. Okay move forward, and then until we reach a closed switch. So here we'll ask ourselves, if we uh, are on a closed switch, if we are on a closed switch, we want to do something. 
And that first thing we have written down is to toggle the switch. So let's go ahead and do that. Toggle the switch. So if we're on a closed switch, we're going to toggle the switch. Okay, so we took care of all this. Then we say in here, the next thing we want to do is turn left if we're blocked, turn right if we're not blocked. So that seems like a good place for an if-else statement. Okay, let's try that. Right after we toggle the switch, we want to either turn right or turn left. So we'll say if we are is blocked to the right, if we're blocked to the right, we, uh, no, not that. That's not all we want to do. If we're blocked at all, if is blocked. So here we want to say if we're is blocked to the front, then we want to turn to the right. Otherwise, we want to turn to the left. Okay. So we took care of uh, writing all our converting all our comment instructions into swift code now let's just uh, go through this again and make sure this makes sense as we as we go along here so as byte moves forward he's going to move forward and then he's going to ask if i'm on a closed switch which he will not be for a while so he's just going to keep moving forward Okay. Every time he calls walk along toggling switches. Now, when he calls walk along toggling switches, and after he moves forward, he finds he is on a closed switch. The first thing we want to do is toggle that switch, and then we want to check if we're blocked forward. If we're blocked ahead of us, we want to make a turn to the right. Yeah, I have this backwards, I think, right? So if we are blocked, then we want to turn to the left. Let's go ahead and change that in here. Turn to the left. If we're not blocked, then we want to turn to the right. Okay, that looks better because this first uh, switch we get to here will be not blocked in front of us, so that means we want to turn to the right. The next one, when we get up here to this uh, next, uh, next switch, close switch, we will be blocked, and that means we want to turn to the left. Anytime we're blocked, we turn left. If we're not blocked, we turn to the right. Okay? Okay, so this while loop in here, the main while loop says, as long as we're not on a gem, we just want to walk along toggling switches. And walk along toggling switches sounds simple, but it's fairly complicated, mostly because we are walking along and we're checking if we're on a closed switch, we're toggling it. But then there are also uh, a little bit of a condition here uh, that says in some cases we want to turn left when we're on a switch and in some cases we want to turn right when we're on a switch and that depends on whether we're blocked or not. All right. Okay, this is looking good to me. Um, let's go ahead and run this code and I'll step through the code just so we can see ourselves going from this main program, this while loop, uh, to our function walk along toggling switches. We'll see what happens here. Okay. Okay, not on a gem, so he's going to move forward. He's not on a closed switch, so he's going to move forward again. This time he is on a closed switch, so he's going to toggle the switch. He's not blocked, so he turns right. Then he calls walk along toggling switches again, moves forward. Walk along toggling switches again, move forward. This time we are on a closed switch. We toggle that switch, we check we are blocked, so we turn to the left. Go back, we're still not on a gem, so we call walk along toggling switches. We move forward, we're not on a switch. Again, we move forward, we're not on a switch. Again, we move forward, we're not on a switch. This time when we call walk along toggling switches, after we move forward, we are on a switch. We're blocked, so we turn left, and we keep on going. Walk along toggling switches is a move forward, not on a switch. Walk along toggling switches is a move forward, not on a switch. One more time, move forward. One more time, this time after we move forward, we are on a closed switch, so we toggle it. And we say, are we blocked? No, so we turn to the right. Looking good. Walk along, move forward, we're not on a switch. Walk along, move forward, 
we are on a switch. This time we're blocked after we toggle it. We're blocked, so we turn to the left. Walk along, move forward, not on a switch. Walk along, move forward, or not on a switch. Walk along, move forward. After we move forward, we are on a closed switch, so we toggle it. We are blocked, so we turn to the left. And now we come back, call walk along, toggling switches. Move forward, walk along, toggling switches, move forward, not on a switch. Walk along, move forward, we're not on a closed switch. Walk along, move forward, we're not on a closed switch. Are we on a gem this time? No, one more walk along, move forward, not on a closed switch. And now we ask ourselves, are we on a gem? Yes, we are on a gem this time. So our main while loop stops, and we come down and execute the line of code after the while loop, which says collect gem. Okay, very nice. So a powerful little program. Our main program here is very simply a while loop that says, as long as we're not on a gem, we want to keep walking along toggling switches. If we are on a gem, we want to collect that gem. And walk along toggling switches is where we did all our main work in here. And walk along toggling switches does just what it suggests. It walks along, moving forward, and it toggles switches. But first it asks, are you on a closed switch? If you are, it toggles it. And then here's where the tricky part was, which says, if we're blocked, if we're on that switch and we're blocked, we, uh, that's our indicator to turn left. If we're not blocked, that was our indicator to turn right. Okay? Okay, very good. Uh, and now that you know the tricks to this, this is a good one to, you know, put it aside for a couple of days and uh, see if you can write it yourself. Um, start it off, reset the puzzle, and get a bunch of, uh, get all your closed switches and your gems back, and uh, take the time to think about it again, and try to write a nice, uh, small, little main program here with a single while loop uh, and a function that does most of the work for us. Okay? All right. Good job, everybody. We'll see you next time.